morning, welcome back to my channel and back to another vlog. We are currently in Madrid, which we haven't really seen much of because yesterday we were super tired and we just decided to have a total rest day. So we ate a bunch of junk food and woke up at 11.30 this morning. So clearly we needed some rest. It's probably why my eyes are super puffy as usual. I don't know if it's a bad food or too much sleep that does it, but it annoys me. Hi. Bonjour. But today is a new day and we are going to go explore Madrid today. I saw a bit of it when we got here and it looks like beautiful. It's even prettier than Barcelona in my opinion. Like the buildings and stuff, it's very European. Barcelona is great for like beaches and going out partying, but here is like really aesthetically pleasing. So yeah, we're gonna go do some exploring today. I'll show you my outfit. This hotel that we're staying at is actually the nicest hotel that we've stayed in whilst we've been away. So I'll show you more of it later. The pool is like, I was dying when I first saw it. It's absolutely stunning. But yes, this is what I'm wearing today. The top is from Primark. I actually got this the other day. Super cute, it's got little lemons over it. I thought it was very Europe appropriate. And then this necklace is from White Fox. I've basically been wearing this every day too, because I love it. And then these gold earrings, I don't actually remember where they're from, but they're just basic gold earrings. Then I've got this skirt on. I've had this for a while. It's from Bado. I really like it. And then these shoes, I think you guys have seen them a bunch. They're from Forever 21. I wear them all the time. So yes, ready to go and venture out. We haven't eaten yet, so I need some food. I'm craving an acai bowl or something. Down the elevator we go. This one. This place is like a museum. There's little artifacts everywhere. It's so cool. That's a nice little hotel bar. Everything's so pretty in here. Another hop on, hop off bus. <laughs> we love those. <laughs> oh, fun. Oh. I was for sure you're about to run into that guy. Yeah, I definitely nearly did. Just a casual little lunch view. Look at that. Uh, I got this random little. It's so hard to order food here because no one speaks English. So this is like mashed potato, poached egg, turkey, and green beans. <laughs> It's really small, but I'm gonna eat appetizing. it to see how I feel. It actually tastes quite nice. Brian got a chicken wrap, lucky duck. They don't seem to have any gluten-free bread here, so. I got a iced cocoa too. And what's this smoothie? A uh, banana or something. Look at these guys. So many people around right now. And the ball. <laughs> he moves. He moves. <laughs> Heading to a park. See what's around there. Yeah, I gotta make sure we go in the right direction. Uh -oh. Yeah, Ryan's. What are you? The navigator. Navigator. <laughs> Look how Let's beautiful that is. Ah, beautiful. I feel like I've already said that a million times in this vlog, but everything is just so pretty. Look at I wonder what the walk is. Yeah, I don't know. It is hot. And it's so strange here, it gets to the hottest point of the day at like 8 p.m. at night. So apparently it's gonna be 35 degrees. No, wow. yeah, I think Surely it's 35 it's degrees. I'll have to check. I think I remember you saying that this morning. Mm -hmm. It gets real hot here. Oh, I'm gonna get run over by a bike. Oh my gosh, look at this. All the people on their little boats. This is so cute. <laughs> Wow. Ooh. We're gonna get a lime scoot soon. We're gonna get a boat as well, I think. Are we? Just bo you boat around in circles. Oh! Yes. They oh, yes. carp, is that what they're called? Mm -hmm. I'm probably I'm totally wrong. <laughs> it's like little that. duckies. I wonder if you can get bread to feed duckies. That would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my goodness. Listen to them, they're so cute. They're little sea nuggets. Oh my gosh. I'm surprised I didn't get snagged up by the fish, to be honest.
the people here who sell the fake designer bags have all of their stuff in like a net and they hold it so they're ready to rip it off and run if someone tries to steal it. Yeah? No, it's if the police come. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it illegal to sell yes. fake stuff? Oh my god, so they pick up their stuff and run away? Yeah, they're ready to roll. That's crazy. Maccas. Why do I get excited when I see Maccas anywhere? <laughs> and walk up there. So we've come back to the hotel to just chill out and figure out our next move and we found out there's a Wagamama. Is it Wagamama or Wagamamas? Either one. Wagamama. It's European, I've never been before. Ryan has and he loves it. So it's about 1.2 kilometers away. So I've got my, my Trek shoes on. We're gonna walk there and get some lunch and then we're actually gonna go and see a movie. I know we do that all the time, but we just feel like it. That's Toy Story 4. It's Toy Story 4. So we're just gonna have a chill afternoon tonight. We'll go and get some dinner and whatnot. And then tomorrow, I think we're just gonna do the go same the thing. Go to the pool. I wanna show you the pool because, oh my God, it's stunning. Oh, oh, lights are off. See how dark the room is? Crazy. We're gonna lamb it. We're kind of scared. I haven't done this for a while. There she is. Yummy. First course, we've got some chicken gyoza. Oh yeah. Let me know what it's like. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're bummed we didn't find this place sooner because this is like our favorite kind of food, right? Like, oh, I'm trying to left hand chopstick right now and it's oh, not no. working. <laughs> So mm -hmm. Here's my meal. Oh, that's just me in a bowl. <laughs> Whee! That's how we're getting home. Going through all these beautiful streets. So cute, we're in like a boutique area. We've got no idea where we're going, but I'm enjoying the sights. Good morning, it is the next day. I think I left you off yesterday whilst we were on our way to the cinema where we saw Toy Story 4, which I loved. Ryan. I'm glad you loved it. No, it was alright. It was alright. <laughs> it it, it's a kids movie, but I don't know. When I watch those movies, I'm like smiling the whole way through it. So I loved it. But yes, that is what we did. And then we literally came home. We didn't even have dinner. We just sat in bed, watched YouTube videos yeah. and went to sleep. And then we slept for another 12 hours. I don't know what is wrong with us, but we just cannot get up in the morning here. It's almost like maybe jet lag's <sighs> catching up on you, but I don't know why I'm sleeping so much either. Yeah, I don't know. It's real weird. This room's super dark, that's probably not helping. What time was it when we woke up, like 11? Yeah, 11 this time. We woke up earlier and we're like, all right, let's do something. Then I'm like, I can't. Yeah, I had my sleep. alarm set for 8.30. I was like, we'll go get some breakfast, I'll do a workout. But then I tried to wake up and I was like, I just can't do it. And I went straight back to dreaming, straight back to dreamland. We could be run down. How long have you been in? Two weeks now. Yeah, I think we're Two weeks holiday on holiday, so like, I guess it catches up on you. Even though we're on holidays. <laughs> That's <laughs> so first world problems. Two weeks on holidays are really catching up with me. Today, we actually head to England. We've got a lobby call at 5 p.m., yeah? To fly well, over to... Well, lobby call at 1 because we got kicked kick out, and then yes. 5 p.m. is when we leave. Yeah. But then we get to go to Wagamama's before that, so... Yeah, I'm so excited. That's where we're going right now. We're so hungry. So we're going to head to Wagamama because we're creatures of habit. We find a place we like, we go there over and over again. Get some lunch, then come back, get on a plane and head to England, which I've never been to before. We're going, what's the area we're going to? Uh, it's called Butlins Minehead. Butlins, <laughs> so it's quite a random spot. So I'm apprehensive, but it's like a um, resort kind of place. Oh, nearly tripped over, so which you... sounds kind of nice. So I guess we'll see what it's like, see if we venture anywhere else. Should be a fun time. Right. So I'll take you along. I don't know if I'll take you to Wagamama because you literally saw that yesterday, but yeah. See you soon. Got back to the hotel now. We just finished our Wagamamas. It was delicious. We got a couple more hours until we have to be in the lobby to go to the airport. So I thought I'll come up here and show you guys the pool because oh my god, it's amazing. So this is where you walk in. Like, are you dead? I'm dead. I wanted to get a photo here, but the bikini that I want a photo in has fake tan on it, so I have to wash it. But look at this bar. It's just beautiful. Ah, oh, hello. And it's so nice and cool in here. Yeah, I know, right? I just want to sit in here, to be honest. So there's the pool. I won't go out there. It's boiling today. This place is so cute. It is very cute. Yeah, I want to very get a photo. Very photogenic for you. I know, and I haven't got any photos in here, so I'm like annoyed. But now our suitcases are packed away, ready to go. Bummer. Oh well. We're going to Butlins next. <laughs> we were actually just looking up where we're going and we were kind of on a holiday before we got here early and went to Barcelona and we've been here for a while. They only did one show. Now Butlins they're doing like, what is it, like a, 
a kids like camp. Like a demo. And yeah, so they've got a few days of like a couple hour demos. So yes, we're going to Butlins, which is like a family holiday place. I think I said that, but apparently a lot of young people go there to drink a lot of alcohol. <laughs> so we're quite apprehensive. We don't know where we're staying, if we're in like a, a tent or a cabin. We're or... gonna find out though. I think that we're right. Hopefully they look after us. Surely it's like a big will. resort, so I think it'll be pretty cool. I'm gonna bring the camera and I'll film some of it. Hello, it has been a couple days since I have picked up the camera for this vlog and I don't really know where to begin. That's my wet foot that you're touching. Yeah, I was wondering, <laughs> it's like sweaty, is that sweat or is that it just sweat? That's sweat. Anyways, now that I'm not grasping a sweaty foot, <laughs> I don't really know where to begin. We got to Butlins, well Minehead, we're in a place called Butlins in Minehead, which is a really small town in England, which is actually quite cute once you go out of Butlins and you go and see it, it's really pretty. Along the seaside, um, so yeah, we've just been hanging out, Ryan's been doing so much work while he's been here, he's been doing his demos and signing about a trillion kids scooters and whatever they want signed every single day. I also sold like Your 200 champion. of my scooters and like every single child in this whole place has an hour with a shirt. There's think. mini Ryans everywhere, so it's been hectic, safe to say. We stayed here the first night in Butlins, but the rooms were absolutely like... They were just... What, what would you explain? They're just... They weren't clean. People had like pee stains in their bed. I don't want to like bash buttons. It's uh, like a just a family holiday for people that can't afford to like go overseas. Like, yeah, I respect it, and it's pretty cool. And it is cool. Like, I wish I filmed outside. There's like all these rides, and they've got activities on for everyone. So it's pretty cool. But I think they just lack in like keeping the actual accommodation really up to standards. Like, there's no powerpoints in the bathrooms. There's no soap. People had no toilet paper. No towels. Just stuff like that. I've got a little footage that I'll show you so you can see where we've been staying. That's where we stayed the first night, and then they ended up putting us in a hotel which is about five minutes from here, so that was really nice. We stayed there for two nights, but we had to come back tonight for some reason. Because they didn't have any um, available rooms. Ah, uh, so yes. We stayed here again last night, and now we will tonight too. We're going to go to London, but it's like six hours on buses and trains, and we leave tomorrow anyway, so... We're just gonna stay here another night and then head home, because I'm sure I'll get to see London one day when we actually get tomorrow. to... Oh yeah, well yeah. But not experience in a car. Understand. I want to experience it one day, but then it'll probably be worth waiting because we'll have actual time to go and see things. Yeah. And look around cities. I love like taking a few days to see a city. You can't really do it in one day, I don't think anyway. So yes, that's what we've been up to. I actually have some snacks here because I asked you guys on Instagram, um, any English people, if you've got any snacks that you think I should try. So I picked up a couple. The number one thing that everyone said to try was Jaffa cakes, which is like a little cake with orange inside it. The original blend of dark chocolate, crackly... Ch <laughs> of dark crackly chocolate, light sponge, and the smashing orangey bit. So I'm kind of excited to try that. That sounds quite nice. And we also have some digestives. I feel like I can imagine what these are going to taste like, but I'm still intrigued. And I got some chocolate buttons. I hope these are the right ones. They might not be. I think Cabri also does like just plain milk chocolate but I picked up these ones because I thought they'd be yummy. Yum. Yeah. And then I got this as well. You guys have the best chocolate. You should have seen all the Oreo things like oh that was so good. Heaps of Kit Kat flavors too. Um but yeah this is the dairy milk Oreo sandwich. I thought that looked pretty cool so I picked that up too. And some crisps as you English people call it. These are salt and vinegar which I think I've actually tried these before so they'll be for later. So yeah I'll set you guys up and we'll try a few of these little goodies and see how they taste. Turns out there's nowhere to put you guys down, so I'm going to do this one-handed, but I've got all my little bits that I'm going to try. This, I was not expecting the Jaffa cake to look like this. I thought it would be like an actual little cake, like a little brown cake, but we may as well try this first. Oh. Oh. Wow. That's what it looks like. It's so orangey. But the little paste in the middle isn't even orange. Oh, I like that. I can see why you guys like that. And 
I picked up the original because I hadn't tried it before. But they've got strawberry ones and another flavour, which I think I would like even more. Because I'm not really an orange girl. But this is actually really nice. With like some tea. Have a Jaffa cake. Jaffa. Oh, Jaffa, Jaffa, Jaffa. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. Whoa. Is it alright? Uh, pretty average. Mm. We're not really orange people. I feel like the strawberry one would be like, oh, so good. Maybe I'll need to try that next. Next up, we have the Oreo sandwich. I already know I'm going to like this. Like, bye. Oh, I'm going to throw it. Oh, wow. Hold on. Oh, my God. That's what it looks like. Little sandwich. I'm obsessed. I almost want to go to the shops and buy more of these and bring them home. That's really? so good. Oh, yeah, mm. good. Yeah, it's literally like a, what do you call them? Small, but with like Cadbury chocolate and surrounded by Oreo. Wow. That's good. That gets a 10 out of 10. Jaffa cake's probably like a 7 out of 10. Now we've got the buttons. But I was surprised because they don't actually look like they're not white and brown. They're just brown. So I'm kind of confused, actually. Is that just... That's just milk chocolate. There's no white chocolate, but why does it look like... That's literally just Cadbury chocolate, but a little button version. Which is good. I like it. 9 out of 10 for that one. My arm is killing me right now. Yeah, that's literally just a bag full of chocolate buttons. But I do like those. The last is a digestive. I don't really have high hopes for this. It's literally a biscuit. A biscuit. A biscuit. It's a biscuit with chocolate on it. A biscuit. Oh, I ate that so weird. Is it a good biscuit? Oh, my arm is killing. Oh, it's actually quite nice. I do like that. It's actually quite nice. Oh, that makes me want to make a cup of tea. I'm turning English. I've been doing that the past couple of nights. I've had some gluten-free cookies and I make a cup of tea and have a couple. It's a little flare. <laughs> You're good? No. You actually, oh, I swear that you actually choked then I laughed mm -mm. and you just dying. <laughs> it crumbled and went down my throat. Have a bite? These are like, that's like one of the classic English things. Oh, yeah. Yellow <laughs> tea. Oh, yeah. Mm. With some tea. So, yes. That's all the snacks I picked up. I was going to say if you guys have any more, let me know, but we'll probably be home by the time you guys watch this because we leave tomorrow. Back home, back to Australia, back to routine, which I'm actually looking forward to. There's no place like home. This trip has been like insane though. I'm sorry I haven't really filmed that much. I kind of wish I did, but it's hard when you're traveling to keep up with everything. So like I said, that's why I'm looking forward to getting home, getting back into filming and whatnot. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and to subscribe to my channel. Also, let me know some videos you want me to film once I'm home because I'm going to be getting back into it. So yes, I will see you guys when I'm home. Bye guys! Bye! Should I say guys again? Guys!